moment here. Could they change the time? Well, that'd be sure. Yeah, seven thirty. Yeah, for the first. Uh, so I didn't know that to kill myself. Did you know? Well, what is next? Interesting. Else. Bernie. Hey, Bernie. Did you guys sign up already for the uh, Portugal uh, cruise trip? You know, I sent him an email. I didn't get a response. Did you sign up? Did you? Uh, I registered. It cost money with a credit card. Ernie okay, I'll try, I'll try again. Susie did it, and I think Stevie and Rifki also. Okay, I, I will sign. I, David's interested. Yeah, I talked to him also now at Mincha. Okay, yeah, he wants me to sit. Did you, are you sending him the itinerary? He wanted the itinerary. Uh, I told him just go to Torah Motion. It's simple. I told him the dates. You want to send it to him? Uh, yeah. Uh, apparently, uh, who's the fourth person? There was another couple. Uh, Yaakov Yellen also is interested. Oh, interesting. Good. Who? A guy from the valley, from our. Uh... From our. Uh, Surba. Right. Hello. Uh, um tonight is uh we're moving the clocks so the daylight savings is starting so in general we're going to move the shear back back to sunday night but yeah. a week from next sunday night i have the simcha to go to um so i propose that we just do it again next week at 8 30 p.m saturday night well let's say shabbos if that works for everybody because there's, I have a simcha. Maybe other people have it, the same simcha. Um, so when are we having the Zabiyomi? At 9.30? Well, the Dafyomi we can do in shul next Shabbos. He doesn't go. Keep right. I'll, I'll take my camera in shul, but you turn it on. No, no. I, we'll tape it at Motsu Shabbos. But I know. I think... Would I? Um, I think. Do it again. I think we are going to. We we might be able to learn the daf yomi on Shabbos afternoon in shul. We'll talk about it during okay. the week. Okay. All right. Welcome Johnny and Helene. Uh, Johnny, that's so yeah. nice to see you. Uh, Johnny is really the the founder of the snachshir because he's the one who gave the idea that after the daf yomi, after we were messiahing the shas at the Royce Hall at UCLA. 
he gave the idea that, oh, we should also learn some other limud. Uh, and we took on the Nach project. And, and, and so, so Johnny, it was really... Uh, well, the, the idea is the small portion. You're giving it, that's the big right. portion. So right. Shikoyach okay. to you. Okay. So Ernie, have, Ernie yeah. I think we should also all say Rafur Shalema for Feige, Feige um, Marciano. Yes. Who, yes. who broke her pelvis in Israel this week. Right. I don't know where she is, but she's recuperating somewhere. I heard she was in uh, the hospital, home. But, they, but they discharged she's her. Home. Home. She's, she's home. She's back home. She's, she's sure she's home? home? Yeah, I spoke yes. to Ellie. And she's a member of our Shear. I mean, we, we, we yeah, Shalema. we should say Rafur Shalema. <laughs> Does anybody know her Hebrew name? Faking mm. us, Rabbi, Rabbi, uh, Summers, Rabbi, the uh, mother, us, Ethel, Elliot. Uh, what was Elliot? Oh, he knows, he knows. He know. Yeah, but what was what was Rabbi? What was Elliot? What is Elliot's last name? No idea. Summers, Elliot, Summers. 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 Summers, but you need the Fagy mother's Summers. name. Mother's name was Ethel. No, his mother Fagy, was Ethel. Fagy Bas Ethel. Okay, she should have a refuel shlema. We'll let her know. Okay, so where are we? We're on Shmuel Bay's Perak Aleph, Pasuk Yud Zion. Just to get everybody up to snuff, a Naar Ha'amaleki ran away from the battle scene where Shoal was killed. And he claimed, he claimed, there's a debate whether it really happened or didn't happen, that Shoal asked this Naar Maleki to kill him. And he said he did. And then David Amelech summarily executed him. Um, for you know, raising his hand against the Melech Yisrael, we discussed how could David do that, Toy Rosh and 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 uh, all the various uh, perushim that we went through with that. Finally, uh, we get to the pasuk Vayikonen David et Akina Azot Al Shaul Va'al Yonatan Beno. David is going to say a kina, basically a eulogy, a hesped, like keynote for Tisha B'av. Um, they already had torn Kriya. They already cried. They already, fa they already fasted, like we discussed, described last week. And to show the greatness of Shoal and Yonasan, um, he's going to give a eulogy. And remember, Shoal was uh, chasing after him, caused him a lot of sorrows. But he was not happy, David, in the death of, of his adversary because he was the Mashiach Hashem, who was the Mani Yisrael. And he knew that he had, he had very high madregas. Uh, just Bernie was in shul. Uh, you know, I was asked to do the Haftorah today, Parsha Zohar. And, uh, you know, when we, we lane about Shmuel tearing the Malchus away from Shoal, I, I, I sort of teared up a little bit because uh, Shoal's a real tragic figure. He's one of the most tragic figures in Nach because he had so, such greatness in him and he had a, a, a rise and a fall. But Netzach Yisrael, Lo Yishakir, says the, says the Novi in, the, in Aftar this morning, that Klai Yisrael goes on. You know, there's a bigger picture. So just and, can, I, can I just attest to the fact that uh, our... our... <laughs> Our Maggid Shir here has his heart and soul into his learning. He was, it was an emotional performance okay, where he, you could see that he related, he put himself in Shoal's place or like a member of Shoal's family during reading the Haftar. It was beautiful to see. Yeah, well, it's all because of the Shir, because, so much because we, we, we are immersing <laughs> ourselves in these in Yonin. Um, so, the fact that Dovid Melech is machnia to the king that died, he thinks that this may be a unifying act. Uh, particularly, we're going to see there are tribes that are still going to follow Shaul and Shaul's son, Ishbosheth. So Dovid Melech is going to maybe, from a political point of view, and also from a Midos point of view, because Dovid Melech is a very special person and has the sensitivity to do this. Yudches. Uh, he says, he says that the tribes of Judah are going to have to learn how to be how to do bow and arrow. He tuval sefer hayashar. It's written on the on the 
Sefer Hayasher, the, the straight book. Now, Machlok has how to learn this Pasuk. The Radak says, this is not part of the eulogy. The eulogy is going to start with the next Pasuk. Because what is this, what does Bnei Yehud have to do with Shol the son? They were against the Malchus of Shol. So he says to his tribesmen, David is from Yehuda, um, don't be faint hearted with the death of Shoal. Um, you are going to learn the military arts and you will be Giborim. The Marsha dif- disagrees with the Radak and says that it's the Tchilas of the Kino. He says like this Omar David, when Klaisro came into Eretz Canaan with Yoshua, they had the ultimate warrior, Akadosh Baruch Hu, fighting for them. They didn't have to be so learned in the various military arts. Hashem had promised Yoshua he would be with him. As long as they would listen to the, the voice of God, Hashem would be with Yoshua and the people like he was with Moshe. If they didn't heed, they would have to fight. And they could lose. says the marshal. His chil David bikina, he was because uh, Shon and his sons were killed by Plishtim. It's clear Hashem was not with them. He was also milcham and iskam divrei sefer Ayasher so sefer shoftim. There's a debate. Let me read you the various midrashim here. In the Yushalmi Sota, Peyalef. Omar David, Kivin Shat Sadikim is talking about Sonim Bomim is going to be Israel. When Sadikim leave the world, we have enemies attach us, attack. Aloi Ksuv al Sefer Yashar. So the Gemara says, Trey Amiron, there's a Machlokas Amiron. Chad Amar, what is Sefer Yashar? Chad Amar, there's Sefer Breshis. One says it's Breshis. The Charon Amar, Zech Kumash Abkudim, Sefer Bamidbar. Manda, Rezu Sefer Breshis. Nicha. Because the Avos were considered the Yesharim. So the problem is, Mandar Zakumash Kudim, what does Bamidbar have to do with Sefer Yashar? Because it says, after Aaron died, by Shmaknani Melacharad, Yosheva Negev, Kiba Yisrael Dechatarim. He heard that Aaron died. And this is the great uh, seer of, of Klai Yisrael. He would show them the way. Okay, now the Knani Melachorad, there's a Molek. Then now we're going to fight. And they want to go back to Mitzrayim. They went back eight Masos. So one shot is Sefer Yashar is either Sefer Breshis or Sefer Chumash Bamidbar. And then in Masech Davod Zara, Chafe. My Sefer Yashar, Amrav Yudah is a Sefer Avram Yitzchak for Yaakov, Shanukri Yasharim. Sefer Breshis, right? The Ovois. Why? Because Bilam says, Tamos Nafshi Mos Yashariim, Usihi Achrisi Kamo. Bilam Davin. That his death should be like the Yisharim, meaning the Avos. Now, the Hecha Remiza, where is this Remez here for that the Bnei Yehuda are going to be taught bow and arrow? The Chsiv. When Yaakov Avinu gave Yehuda the Bracha, it says, Yehuda Atayo Ducha Achacha. Your hand. Is going to be by the okay. neck of your your enemy. Now, yad oref. What type of battle 
requires your hand next to your neck. Well, when you pull back a barrel and arrow, your hand is next to your neck. That's yadcha ba'oyref oyvecha. Have you omer zekeshet? Rabbi Yezra omer zeh mishnah toyret. No, it's sefer dvorim. The my car relates sefer yashar. Dixiv, because it says vasita hayashar ve'atov in Hashem. Now, where's the remez for keshet? When Moshe Rabbeinu gives the bracha to Yehuda, he says yadav. Rav Lo. He will need both of his hands. Yadav. For a bow and arrow, you need both hands. With a gun, you need one hand. But for a bow and arrow, you need two hands. Zukeshet. A third mandoma. Rav Shemek Gamal Onmar. Zeh Sefer Shoftim. That Sefer Ayoshar is Sefer Shoftim. Amai Kari Le Sefer Ayoshim. Ixiv. If you remember, there's a pasuk in Shoftim we learned. By Amim Ahem, Ein Melech Bi Yisrael. Ish Hayashar Beinav Yaseh. Everybody did the way they wanted to do. Veheicha Remiza. Where is this rem is about bow and arrow? Limadas Doros Bnei Yisrael Ulam Dei Milchama. Eizo Yeh Milchama Shetzricha Limud. What Milchama requires study? Have you ever Zukeshet? And how do we know it's Yehuda? Because mi alelanu betchila el aknani lilacha vayom Hashem Yehuda yale. Now the Musra Navim says something very very interesting here. Inei amakom lomar she if shalish tamesh b'sham lachama b'keshes. He wants to say that there could have been a havamina, there could have been a thought that we Kla Yisrael, we Jews, when we fight in war, should not use a bow and arrow. There's a love to kill people. So how are we given a heter to kill people in war? If somebody is in front of you trying to kill you, so he's a rodef, you're allowed to kill him. We might have thought that it's only when a, an enemy is standing in front of you with a sword, ready to strike you, that you have permission to kill him. Somebody who's far away from you. He's not close to you. Maybe he's not a rodate. Because you have to do it from far. We, you see all the Midrashim that we just learned showing you that Keshet is a, an authentic and an, an acceptable means for Jews to fight. Not only that, it reminds us that the the bow and arrow in, in Sefer Yosher, right? When it says, don't be glot kosher, be glot yosher. <laughs> be straight. And we're taught by our always. I think it's a very, wow. very good shot of the Musra Nevi'in here. Ernie, is uh, when the uh, modern day Rabbanim quote from Sefer Ayosher, what are the, is there a separate Sefer that's been written that's extracted from the Chamisha Chum Shetar and some of the Nevi'im, or is this something different? What, where do you see Chachamim Darshan from Sefer Ayosher? You remember this yeah. Pasuk, there are many Psukim in Torah, Hinek Suval Sefer Ayosher. What, what are you referring to? No, I'm saying when you listen to a Rabbanim giving uh, Drasha, they quote Sefer Ayosher. Am I correct or am I incorrect? I don't know if that, there's Sefer Hasidim. I, I don't know about it. I don't know about a, okay. a rabbinic Sefer called Sefer Yosher. And they, there could be. I, I don't know. But the, the, the references to Sefer Yosher ref, refers to this kina. There's other references in Sefer Yosher, but this is the main one. Um... 
Right, so we went through the machlokes about which Sefer is Sefer Yosher, yes. You know, over here, it's a, it says that according to Barbanel, keshes means not archery, but hardships or distress from the word kasha, difficult. Okay. Yeah. Very good, very good. Let's continue the kina, posuk yutes. Hatzvi Yisrael. What's the, what's the English on it? O splendor of Israel. Al bamosecha chalal. On your high places, there are casualties. Eich naflu giborim. Look at the beautiful poetry of David Melech. How, how the great ones fell. So, Zemach Metsudas David, and the Mitzvah of Sion and the Abarbanel say that Hatzvi refers to Eretz Yisrael because it's called Nachlas Tzvi. It's uh, some, one of the Midrashim say that fruit grows very rapidly. It ripens quickly. So the concept of Tzvi, like Ratz Katzvi, some, being rapid like a deer, uh, that's why Eretz Yisrael is so special. Um, not only that, when it says Eich naflu giborim, it shows us how really Hashem abandoned Shaul. Because remember, they were on Anhara Gilboa. They had the heights. Usually in battle, what, whatever soldier is on the top has the advantage. And we know Shaul and Yehonasim were very strong uh, soldiers. The fact that Hashem didn't help them, even though they were on the heights, we see that uh, it, it was because of Chet, because Hashem was not with them. Uh, the Abarbanel learns that Tzvi is Loshon Tiferes Vechemda, referring to Shol they, they, you They were the splendor of Israel, or an Am Yisrael, says the Abarbanel. And others say, uh, the Yalkut Mamloya says, the word Tzvi comes from Tzava. That, Israel. Right, that the, 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 the armies of Israel have fallen and are, and are the mm -hmm. uh, casualties on the high places. Chav. Let me just see here, one second. Yeah. Chav. Al Tagidu Begas. Don't spread this word in Gat. Gat was like the capital, capital city of the Plishti. Don't spread this news in the streets of Ashkelon. The daughters of Plishtim will be happy. And they will be happy, the daughters of the Arelim, the uncircumcised. This is Beloshan Kina. Clearly, the Plishtim probably knew about the battle already. So it's just sort of in a drusha format. Uh, the Rabbag learns that maybe no, nobody is saying this maybe before they knew. Um, the Malbim has a very nice explanation of the difference between the word Magid, right, Al Tagidu, versus Besora. So the Malbim says, Yesh Hevdel ben Hagadal Besora. There's a difference between telling over and being mevaser. Someone who's bringing good news wants to publicize it quickly so that people will make a party and be happy. But that's not necessarily so with being a magid. Now, in Gat, which was the royal city in Plishtim, Sham Higida Magidis Adavar. There they sort of reported the news. Umisham Shalchulavaser Bekolarim Kadesh Yasu Mishnevisasam. From Gat, they sent out messengers to Bimavasar, the good news that we defeated Klai Yisrael. Then he says, the Malbim, the Malbim was a ter ter terrific grammarian and, you know, digduk and just the Hebrew language. The, 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 the Malbim lived in the 1800s. Yesh Hevdel 
bein sameach u bein alaz. Like the word aliza, the word aliza means to be happy, joy. But what's the difference between simcha and alaz? Sheha alaz hu amarake merava simcha. Aliza refers to dancing, that you're so happy you start to dance. And vasameach hu belev. Simcha usually refers to happiness in your heart. Very interesting also, says the Medrash Shmuel, Shemishum Tivre Dovi, Elu, Lonizgalu Minin Amesim Bemochama, Bahara Gaboa. That David sort of said, you know, we should not spread the news. We have many times what we've been learning in Nach, 20,000 people died here. Remember in the, in the battles with the, with the Pilegesh Pagiva, 30,000, 40,000. You notice we're not told how many people died in Har Gilboa. So the Medrash says it's because of this feel of Dovi that it should not be Ms. Farsim. Chafal. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Arabi Gilboa, Al Tal Va Al Motor Alechem. He almost, it's like, it sounds like he's cursing the Gilboa that dew and rain should not fall on you. Uste trumos. Dam migal magen kiborim. There is where the shield of the heroes fell. Magen shuel magen shaubli mashiach bashamen. And even the shield of Shoal fell without anointing of oil. The Beforshim explain that in those times they would anoint their shields with oil. So when a spear or something would be thrown at the shield, it would slip off. Chavbeis. Midam chalalim, from the blood of the casualties, mechelev giborim, from like the fat of the heroes. Keshet Yonatan lo nasagachor. Yonatan's bow will not go backwards. The hair of Shaul lo tashuv rekam. The sword of Shaul will not come back empty. And this, this, this connects to the previous psukim as well. Some say it's, it's also con- talking about the casualties of Klai Yisrael, not as of Shaul the Yonason. And then sort of the climax, Chav Gimel. Shaul the Yonason. Hanehavim v'aneimim b'chayehem. Shol and Yonason were beloved and pleasant in their lives. Uvimotam lo nifradu. And they were not separated in their death. Minisharim kalu. They were lighter than eagles. Me'arayos gaveru. They were, uh, they were more yeah. courageous than lions. You, 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 you hear Shakespeare here. I mean, you hear uh, literature here that Later, writers certainly borrowed from these kind of themes. Um, now, remember when they went, when Shol went to the Balas Ov and they raised the spirit of Shmuel and he gave him the Besora that there was a, the Radak. Reminds us about that. That when it, it, it said there, "Vi ten Hashem gamet Yisraelim chabiat plishtim." Armelay shol vafilo evracha tamin lachamay notzel. He asked Shmuel, "If I run away from the battle, will I be saved?" Armelay im tivrachti notzel. He says, "Yeah, you will run away." But vimat mekabel lechamida sadin umachar atov anecha imi b'mechitzasi. He was given a besorah that you and your sons will be with me in Shmuel and Gan Eden. And therefore, uh, the fact that both Shol and Yehonasan were brave and went to battle, didn't run away and deflate the spirits of Klai Yisrael, you see that in the end, Yehonasan and Shmuel were indeed together in, after death in the Mechitz of, of, of Shmuel Anavi. That's how that, Shol brought uh, himself to the Kona Olam Abba. Correct. I mean, according to Shmuel. But it's interesting because that exactly is followed by the modern day Tzahal. The commanders always 
in, uh, join in the battle. They don't stand in the back safely away from the, the line of fire. Yes, Absolutely. unique among the unique among Tsar. Very think, interesting. Yeah, go ahead. I uh -huh. think it's a little hard. It says Shal imim b'chayehem. I, I get that they were very um, brave and um, and selfless by um, allowing us to be killed, but to say that he was beloved and pleasant in his, in their lifetime, I, I don't know. It's a little right, but so you see the mile of David Melech, like we started off tonight's shear, that even though he was chased by Shol, he's a Mashiach Hashem. He's Melech Yisrael, he's Manig. So David respects that. And of course, so, so, and so he, he understood the Milas of Shoal. And that's what's coming out in this Kina. And of course, Yohanan's son, the, the love between David and Yohanan's son. He's so, also the, 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 uh, it's the, his father in law and brother in law. Father in law and brother. So, of course, Ellen, you're, you're highlighting the flawed and tragic figure that Shoal represents. But overall, would we would there be reason for us to not feel that he wasn't a good king? He may have been, you know, a, you know, a good king to the cloud, you know, even though he may have had a personal vendetta against David. But why would we not believe that he was, for instance, if he won in battle, we talk about the women who received um, beautiful clothing and, and the booty that he had won. So I think in terms of his duty as a king, why would we think that he wasn't? Oh, he, he, had, he had a fatal flaw in that he didn't listen to uh, uh, Shmuel's words, which was that he had to kill uh, oh, that ear, ear uh, nose. Oh. Okay, so I he, would imagine that his, his uh, appeal, his, his uh, ratings definitely plummeted after that incident. Um, but overall, I think, you know, he took the, the role of king, you know, to battle. Um, you know, one, you know, for the, so I think there, you know, he may have been beloved, you know, most of the time. Absolutely. We, we, we learned we many, many chazals that praise Shoal as Tzniyas and Nech so, Baba Kalim, modest. Yeah, just like we had with Shimshon. Same, same dynamic. We, we, I don't know what he's called. So, it's a pocket cough. It's a pocket cough. So, David, um, is really setting himself aside. He, he's separating his personal relationship with with his, uh, with Shaul's role as king. Sure, Ellen, I think Ellen, so. Ellen, what about the opportunities that David had to kill Shaul in the cave, right. in the multiple times when they went in? So you see, he respected the authority of the king. He right, yes. Possibly as well, because he knew he was going to be the king. He wanted to set the standard the of how you're supposed to treat the king. Uh, here. Now, very interesting halacha here, or minag here, that the Iye Hayam brings, when it says, uvmotam lo nifradu, in their death, Shol and Yonason were not separated. Listen to this. Ro in shiesh lekaver odom eitzel mi she'oavo, she'ahava shaya b'chaim nimshak lachar mita, this is a raya that men and women are buried next to each other. We're going to see. There's different minhagim. You go to some cemeteries and men are buried here and women are buried here, but that's not most custom. Most yeah. customs you see in, in, in Kvuras Yisrael that men are buried next to their wives and they learn it from this pasuk amazingly. Wow. Since there was love, just like there was between David and Yonasan, since there was love between husband and wife, yesh le kavram zeitzel zeh, uvehemet kein matzinu, she kavru avot hakdoshim ima imahot, bemarat amach pela. Like it's, the, the, the ovos were buried with their wives. Like it says in Baba Basra, nun ches. V'chein ita b'shulchan aruch, yoredea, shin samech vav, halacha gimel, she koivrim isha eitzel baila. V'chein kosov maver yabok, that uh, a woman after her death, they, she has nachas ruach if she's buried next to her husband. Says the shut, the shas and truvas harib samim. 
לא מצינו בשום מקום כבדה בזה, שיהיו נקבורן אנושים בפני עצמו ואנושים בפני עצמו. He says, we don't find people who oppose men and women being buried separately. No, buried mar- mar- together. They had family burial, pl- burial plots and the men were buried with the women. Ach, he brings. The Divrei Malkiel, who was a, who was a recent Shalas and Shuvis. Yesh mekomot she'en kovrim anashim v'anashim yachdom. She'notein tam lakpid lo lekavram betaruvis. I don't know. I don't guess. Was that after life or is that when they come to bury them? I'm not sure what he meant there. The men bury the men, the women bury the women. You don't see where women bury women. He goes to Nasai, they are Noshim, but Raka Tahara, maybe Tahara is done because it's still so you Noshim. And the different so you see that there's a debate, and then most minogim are that men and women are buried together, but there's some some that are mocked not to. But it's interesting that they learn it from this pasuk. It depends on the, the chelka. Uh, you know, you can have one cemetery where, like my parents, are in different rows. They're near each other, but they're in different rows. And, uh, but, but in the same uh, cemetery, you have different uh, organizations that uh, bury husbands and wives next to each other. But, but we didn't know that uh, this whole debate is based on this pasuk of the Mosam Loni Fradu, that they were not separated after death. Chavdala. Benos Yisrael El Shaul Bechena. Daughters of Israel, you're going to cry because of Shaul's death. Shaul dressed you in finery. He gave you jewelry, etc. The Midrashim says, Yerushalmi Nidorim. Benos Yisrael Mamish, are you balei and holchim l'milchama? The daughters of Israel, this goes to what Barbara was saying. Shaul was a good king. The soldiers would leave their wives. So number one, Shol provided food for the families. Jewelry on a, on a woman does not like, look nice unless she's well nourished. So th- they learned from here that he, he nourished Klai Yisrael when the sons went off, when the, when the husbands went off to war. And let's see yours. A person is not help, healthy, nice clothing, and jewelry doesn't do anything for anybody. And from here, you see that Shaul was Mofarnes the Noshim when the, when, the, when, the, when the husbands were not to war. How did the heroes fall in the battle? Yehonatan abamotecha chalal. You, Yehonatan, also are a casualty on the high places. David is trying to give us a hint. Ki yesh siba de nehergu shol v'yonasam. That why they, afsha yu giborim. Hefech v'mash yitzlichu ba'avar neged plishtim rabim v'yad matim. If you remember, they had succeeded many times in defeating the plishtim. However, now it's because Shlohaya Hashem Yimachem. Lefichah chaleinu lil mo tamid lishmo es tvar Hashem. That's the Metzudah's Dovi. Tzar li alecha achi yonasan, chavav. It's painful for me, my brother Yonasan. Na'am tali ma'od, you were so pleasant with me. Niflata avat chalim avat nashim. Our love was like the love between, like like the love of women. Love of women, or more than, greater than the love. May Shim. I had trouble understanding this. Um, it seems like the love that he had was greater than the love that he had. <clears throat> like it was un- unconditional love. Like the love of women is conditional. <laughs> so the, 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 the 
the Yonason ben Uziel said, Me'avas noshim l'mashahem avod ben baleim, ben bneim shavasan chaskalem. Women love strongly. That's how he learns. But avas noshim means how women love. They love their children. They love their husbands unconditionally. That's one pshat. The Mitzudas David says, Me'avas anoshim ashahem ne'avos avarab l'misha choshek aleim. I mean, so, so we discussed this before when we talked about it would describe the love of Yonah's son like, like, man, like man and woman. Then Chavzayim... So he's Eitam, comparing yeah. it? So he's comparing it to the love? Comparing it. He's saying it was a strong uh -huh. love between them. Mm -hmm. They were the, the warriors themselves were the, were the weapons of Klai Yisrael. And now we lost them. Or what I wanted to say. This pasuk, when it says nifleta avas achalacha me'avas noshim, the Yalkut Shimoni says mishte noshim. Eze zu michal vavigoyel. Michal boyel maze vavigoyel oyel ma. But what is this? Michal hitzila oto marigat shavu. If you remember, Michal saved David because she told him to flee when when Shaul sent soldiers to get him. However, that was physical life. Abigail, remember who was the wife of Novo, right? Remember David wanted to kill Novo, her husband. Abigail went and, and changed his mind. That saved him from Oilam Abba, that he wouldn't have gone Oilam Abba. That the Ramam says, So it Then in get say for get parshut, when it says that nifleta avat chalacha mevat nashim, mishum dohisifu yud b'shem David, vehei b'shem Yonason. David most of the time is spelled dalid vav dalid, but sometimes you'll see it spelled with a yud dalid vav yud dalid. Same thing with Yonah's son. Sometimes it's spelled with Yonah's son. This Yud and He, Remez, the Shem Ka, Beinehem. Right? Between Yonah's son and David was Yud K. Like it says in Sota Yud Zion. Shehita la Kosov Yud, Beish. Behe Beisha. Loimar. She imzachu Shechina Beinehem. And otherwise, right? The yud, the word ish has a yud. The word isha has a yud. You take out the yud, it's fire. But, and then if you add the hay at the end of the word isha, you have hay. So that's the only difference between ish and isha is the yud k. The Gemara says, zachu shechina b'nehem. And that's why he said that the love is doi melavas ish isha. Because David and Yonason also had this connection of Hashem, Yud K. It's a nice shot. Over here, it actually says, uh, based on Targum Yonason, that it was Abigail and Achinoam, not Abigail and Michal. Yeah. Well, remember, because remember, Michal, she's not really married at this time to Michal. She did, but she was given to Palti Ben Layish, and those are her two wife, his, his current wives. Maybe that's why he says shot there. Now, this thing about Klay Milchama. Is Mishum the Iye Hayam says Mishum Tzad Tzad. I'm sorry. The Musar Nevi'im says Mishum Tzad Tzadiki Maginim Alador Shelo Yishu to Bayam Asoinim. When you have a Tzadik in your generation, it protects the generation, like a Klei Milchama, like an anti-ballistic missile system that protects a country. Ernie, do you also see the explanation on Mehavas Noshim uh, having to do with Rachel and Leah? Yeah. That's an interesting it, one too. Bernie, say it, please say it. Um, David had in mind the love between Rachel and Leah, although uh, Rachel longed to be Yaakov's wife. She revealed the secret signs he'd given her uh, to her sister so that Leah would not be embarrassed when Yaakov came to her on their wedding night. Yonasan descended from Rachel, right? Because he's uh, Binyamin is Rachel, uh, son of, uh, of, uh, of Rachel. David came from Leah. Right from uh, 
uh, from Shevet Yehuda. Thus, David is saying, your love was wonderful to me more than the love between Rachel and Leah. Mm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, also here, it, uh, it adds that, uh, uh, that Leah was substituted for Rachel under the, uh, the chuppah, and Yonason steps aside gracefully in favor of David. Mm. Right, in terms of being the melech. Right. Very good. Okay, I'm going to start Perak Beis. Perak Beis, Aleph. Vayach Rechem. Now we don't know yet how much this is. It's gonna, it's gonna be a machlokas how much time passed and we'll go into that in detail. After a period of time, could have been years, two years, five years, we'll see. Vayishal David Bashem Leimor. David asks the Urim Vitumim, Ha'e'ele ve'achat are Yehuda. Should I not? Because remember, he's still living in sick leg, right near Achish Melech Gat with his people. And he wants to know, should he go back to Yehuda? Vayomer Hashem elav alei. Hashem said, go. Vayomer David ana ele vayomer Hevrona. And it was, he was told, go to Hevron. Now you notice, Vaishal David Bashem. He didn't just after Shoal died immediately go to Eretz Israel, without a command of Hashem. His melucha is going to be polar opposite from Shoal, like was said tonight. Shoal many times didn't listen to the Tzvi Tzivui Hashem. Remember Shmuel told him, "Wait for me seven days." Didn't wait. He, he was told what to do with Amalek. Didn't follow. David is going to rectify all of this. And David's melucha is going to be Tzivui Hashem. And notice this decision to now pick up and go back to Eretz Yehuda, which he's from. He's not going to do it unless he gets permission from Hashem. He's not seeking the crown. He thought maybe also Maybe another, a son, there's Ish Boshet, the son of Shoal. Maybe it, 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 the son of Shoal should still rule. Maybe it's not his man to rule yet. And maybe it would be dangerous to go back. So that's why he wanted to ask from the Urim Vatumim, should I go back? Vayal Sham David, Vigam Shtei Nashav, Achinoam Yisraelit, Vavigayel Eshes Novel Akarmeli. We've already discussed many times why Avigal is always called Aisha's novel. It shows her tzidkis, right? Even though she was married to such a maneuver like novel, she became, she was such a powerful uh, influence. So David comes with his wives, Vana Shava Sherimo, Pasu Gimel, and his people, Allah David Ishu Beto Hebron. They settle around, not necessarily in Hebron, but around the cities around Hebron. Just like today, you have Alon Shvut and you have Efrat and Kiryat Arba. I guess it was there were cities around Hebron. Comes Pasuk Dalit. Vayavon She Yuda. Vayim Shechusham is David the Melech of Beis Yuda. Even though he had been anointed by Shmuel, says the Radak, this is Kabbalah of the Shevet Yehuda to have David as their king. Vayagidu the David Lemor. Remember, at the end of Shmuel Aleph, the people of Yavesh Gilad, who, who, was, who, who were beloved of Shaul, they liked Shaul. He had helped them when, when one of the kings had come to bother them, and he had saved them. And when they had heard that Shaul and his sons had been mutilated and had been stuck up on some wall somewhere in Beit Shan, so they went and got him and buried him. So why does this come at the same time that he's Nimshach Lamelech? So, because you see, first of all, David is a calculating political person. He sees that even though after the death of Shaul, there's still people in this camp. And maybe it's not time for him to be king over all of Klai Yisrael. We're gonna see, David ruled for seven and a half years in Hebron. 
and then 33 years over the rest of Klai Yisrael for 40 years. Now the Radak says, I just want to emphasize, Shemaschuas David Pam Shnia Be'esha Kiblu Also Lamelach. Because it says some, they did a repeat anointing. There has to be consent of the governed, like a republic, like John Locke, like all the political philosophers that founded the United States. The consent of the governed. So even though we hear the word king, right? It sounds like a autocracy and a, it is monarchy, but it still has to come with the permission of the people. Says the Radakshan, the Rambam says in Hilchos Malachim, Srichim Gamas Gamasa'am. You need the acceptance of the people. Initially, the Mashiach of David was just by Shmuel privately. They didn't know about it. So it's not considered Som Tasim Alecha Melech. It's only now when David comes to Hebron, May Yehuda wants him to be king. It's Askamas of the Am. And now he becomes the true king. Even the Avne Nezer in, in, in the, in the Shalas and Truvis Yordea, Melech Tzorech Kabbalah Yisrael Melech, Lo Sagi B'mshich Lachud. Melech needs Kabbalah. After Hayal Yiday Novi, even if the Mashiach was a Novi. By the way, the Gemara in Brachas, Nunei, Amen Aleph, the president of a shul, the president of an organization. A parnas of the tzibur is not put there unless the tzibur agrees. Shenemar, ru'u kara Hashem b'shem b'tzalel. Not sure what the raya there is. Okay. But there's a riot there from Betzala when he was appointed, it had to be also the people accepted. Then, Yeshloim, this is from the Rinas Yitzchak. Yeshloim are the Meshicha Samelech Baal Shnei Dvorim. What's the point of anointing a king? Chada Le'ikar Torah Smelech. Shemalchei Beis David Tuni Meshicha. There's a din that the kings of the house of David need Meshicha. She Yechol Alayu Torah Melech Mashuach. They have to be an anointed king. The Gam, the Yesh Din Meshicha Banogas Amlucha. There's a way that they practice their Melucha. Kishanim Srolo Anogas Amlucha Tzrach Meshicha. Ad Atalo Hayel Le David Din Melech. So therefore, he, 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 the Dinim of Hayra Shaw, all these things really, according to this Prashad, he didn't have until now. Kivan to Lohayel Hanagas Melucha. Like when Abigail, Told him in Shmuel Aleph that Dain ain lo din melech sheich shachiv novel moy b'malchus kinegdo. Right? Remember one of Avigail's argument to David not to kill novel was because you're not authentically the king yet. Well, now he becomes the king. Why does he have to go to Hebron? So the Zohar says like this. I'm going to translate the Zohar in Hebrew. He kivan to make Shaul. Now that Shaul died, the David I arose the Kabbalah Malchus, and David now is ready to be the the Melech. Lama lo kibel miyadat Malchus akol Yisrael. Why did he do this? We we have this story that first he was in in Judea the king, then Kol Yisrael. Why did this happen to happen this way? Ela hakol soda chachmai. This is some kind of secret wisdom. Ki David lo halo le Kabbalah Malchus. Ela ad shis chaber ba'avos. David Amelech has to join with the Ovois, Shehem Bechevron, Vaazi Kabel Malchus Bahem. This will allow David to rule over Klai Yisrael as a whole. Vaal Korcha Nisav Gev Shan Bechevron Shavashanim. He stayed in Hebron seven years. In my mind, I'm thinking about these seven. He now becomes part of the Sheva Ushpizim, right? Avram, Yitzhak, Yaakov, Moshe, Aaron, <coughs> Yosef, David. Maybe it takes seven years in the Soda Chachma for him to be mischaber with these gedolim. Kedeshi kabla malchus karoi va kol be Soda Chachma umishum shi yutukan malchuto that his kingship should be always correct. Kein zavram lo babakum shalim the kodesh brochat shebalert Yisrael. 
we know that Avram Avinu only came to Eretz Yisrael when he was 75 years old. So Avram Avinu is similar. He doesn't become Avram Avinu until he comes, until he comes to Eretz Yisrael. David Malachim Elan Sheyavishkilad. Sent messengers. Vayomer Alein Bruchim Atev Lashem. He gives him a bracha. It's a, it's like a, a, a welcome, and he acknowledges. Asher Asite Ma Chesed Azeim Adonaychem Im Shol Batik Broto. That you did Chesed Shel Emes and you buried Shol. Veata Yas Hashem Imachem Chesed VeEmes. Hashem should do as well to you, Chesed V'Emet. It's Mida Keneged Mida. Somebody does Chesed Shalemeth to somebody, it should be done back to them. I will also do you Toivas by the fact that you did Toiva to show. Zayin. Strengthen your arms. Join my army. He made Adonechem Shol. The Gamoti Mashchu Beit Yudal Melchem. He tells them, you know what? My tribesmen have anointed me Melech. Interesting. We don't see the Anshe Avesh Gilad answer them. So we see that he's not over, he's not the king over them. Now begins a new storyline. Va'avner Bener. Sar Tzava Asher L'Sha'ul. The general, remember he was with Shoal everywhere. Remember when David crept into the camp, Shoal and Avner were sleeping in the middle. So what does Avner do? Lokachet Yishboshet Ben Shoal Vayavirei Machonai. Avner is now going to anoint Ishboshet, the son of Shoal, to be king. Avner was a relative of Shol. And he is now going to install Ishbosheth, the son of Shoal, in Machanoim. So remember, Machanoim is the place when Yaakov Avinu comes back from his stay with Lovon. It's two camps, but it's Avra Yarding. It's right before he enters Eretz Yisrael. So the Mephorshim learned from here that Machanoim is an Avra Yarde. Remember, there was one camps of angels in Chutz Laaretz and another camp of angels in Eretz Yisrael. That's the Machanoim. This place was in Shevet Gat, in Shevet Gad and Menashe. Remember, half of the tribe of Menashe and Reuben and Gad were on Avra Yarde. Ernie, what does this say about Avner having fleed uh, the battle that where Shaul and Jonas were killed? Why did he run away? He was his chief of staff. Well, what do you mean? Maybe he survived. I mean, you, it sounds like you wanted to make it like it's a nefarious thing. Well, no, it just doesn't show. Uh... He wasn't destined to die. Remember, show, uh, sh the spirit of Shmuel had prophesied that Shoal and his sons would die, but not so by Afner. Can I ask you something else? How did he rationalize? I mean, he must have known that Shmuel anointed David. Did he not? Yes. So how well, did he rationalize? So beautiful. So I'm gonna, I, I just introduced this because I wanted to whet everybody's appetite. It's like the perils of Pauline. We're gonna leave, <laughs> leave because Barbara asked a great question. We're going to come back to the whole Havamina. How was it that Shol was a Melech at all? So Avner learned, uh, knew the Droshois, why Shol had a right to be king. And he's going to bring a proof why it shouldn't just be one king from Binyamin, but two kings mm -hmm. from Binyamin. Mm -hmm. So let's save that for next week. Okay. And we'll, we'll, we'll leave off. We'll, we'll continue on this puzzle. So again, I just want to remind next week, we will all, we'll do it 8.30 in the evening. Usually we don't do it Sunday. Normally we'll do it Sunday at 8 o'clock like we used to. But just next week, because there's a simcha that I'm attending Sunday, we'll do it Shabbos. Okay?
Okay, uh, thank you. Thank okay. you so much. Any other, com any other comments that anybody wants to make or any other issues? Good work. Good work, everybody. Good work, everybody.